In this video, we are going to discuss a few examples from differentiation. The first one here is y is equal to x square plus 7x minus 9 divided by x square minus 1. Now, here we find the derivative or obtain the derivative using the quotient rule that is derivative of u by v okay and the formula is v into derivative of u minus u into derivative of v divided by v square <clears throat> so the numerator is u and denominator is v so let us apply the rule over here and we obtain dy by dx as so, if we differentiate with respect to x, we get dy by dx is equal to first the denominator that is x square minus 1 into derivative of the numerator that is x square plus 7x minus 9 minus, now we reverse the order. Now, we will have the numerator that is x square plus 7x minus 9 into the derivative of the denominator that is derivative of x square minus 1 the whole thing divided by v square that is denominator square so x square minus 1 the whole square now proceeding further now this bracket remains as it is that is x square minus 1 now here we take the derivative of these three terms now derivative of x square is 2x plus 7 into derivative of x is 1 so that's 7 into 1 that gives us 7 and 9 is a constant so derivative of constant term is 0 so we don't write that we just close the bracket here minus then this bracket as it is x square plus 7x minus 9 into now derivative of these two terms derivative of x square is a 2x and derivative of 1 it's a constant so derivative of 1 will be 0 so we close this bracket also the whole thing divided by v square that is x square minus 1 the whole square now we just simplify and multiply these brackets here x square into 2x so that's 2x cubed x square into 7 that's 7x square minus 1 into 2x is minus 2x minus 1 into 7 is minus 7 now here also 2x into x square is 2x cube but there's a negative sign here so it's minus 2x cube 2x into 7x that's 14x square again a negative sign here so minus 14x square 2x into minus 9 is minus 18x and this negative sign is over here so we have positive 18x the whole thing divided by v square that is x square minus 1 the whole square now 2x cube cancels with 2x cube 7x square minus 14x square so that's minus 7x square minus 2x plus 18x so 18 minus 2 gives us 16x and the constant term here is minus 7 the whole thing divided by x square minus 1 the whole square so this is the value for dy by dx now the second question y is equal to x upon x plus 3 so again applying the quotient rule we obtain dy by dx we begin with the denominator that is x plus 3 into derivative of numerator that is derivative of x minus the numerator that is x into derivative of denominator that is derivative of x plus 3 the whole thing divided by v square that is x plus 3 the whole square so proceeding further we have x plus 3 as it is into derivative of x is 1 minus x into 
Now derivative of x is 1 and derivative of 3 is 0, right? So this part derivative is 1, derivative x is 1 and derivative of 3 is 0. So we get a total of 1 over here divided by x plus 3 the whole square. So let's simplify further and see what we obtain. Now 1 into x plus 3, that's x plus 3. 1 into x, that's x. So we have minus x over here. The whole thing divided by x plus 3 the whole square. Now x cancels with minus x. So we have the final answer as 3 upon x plus 3 the whole square. So this is the value for dy by dx. We move on to the next question. y is equal to 1 plus log x upon x. Again applying the quotient rule, we obtain dy by dx is equal to, start with the denominator, so x times derivative of 1 plus log x minus, next we'll have 1 plus log x into derivative of x divided by v square, that is divided by the denominator square. So we have divided by x square. Proceeding further, we have x into now derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of log x is 1 by x. So we have x into 1 by x minus 1 plus log x into derivative of x is 1. The whole thing divided by x square. Now we just have to simplify this. So we simplify this. x cancels with x. So we have 1. Now 1 into 1 plus log x and there is a negative sign here so sign would change. So 1 into 1 that is 1 but a negative sign here makes it minus 1. 1 into log x is log x again a negative sign here so this becomes minus log x the whole thing divided by x square. So 1 cancels with minus 1 so therefore we have dy by dx is equal to minus log x divided by x square. So this is the value for dy by dx.